I'm here with uh, Cornelius. We're going to be playing through a part of the new expansion for Uprising Curse of the Last Emperor. And I think he's going to give a brief intro to the campaign mode since we'll be playing the first game of the, or the first part of the first game of the campaign. Thanks for coming, uh, yeah, Cornelius. Happy to. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, I'm always happy to show off our. our... Uh, awesome game here. Um, yeah, I, uh, there was another video that we just did introducing all the different components. Um, then I also wanted to show off the uh, the campaign that we printed. Uh, it's a print and play campaign, um, and it's a uh, sort of built around uh, the rules of your game, urban games, which is deck building. Um, no real deck building. So let's you uh, alter your feet deck. You can take feet in and out. Forward, uh, you start on easy game and move to normal. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, let's change cards from the deck to sort of follow along. You can play with the ones if you want. We're going to play with some of the expansion factions and the beans and the ether. See in that so this page here gives you the basic rules for people that love story and we love story. And here you can see uh, this is the uh, the opening game. Heroes are imprisoned on midnight tower. Uh, set up the game on easy difficulty. And it's actually very easy if you just you can see it here on setup. That's all you have to do. And it's true for all the easy. Easy. Okay, yeah. So adding so so each of the each of the campaigns have kind of a different setup phase and then you'll progress from each uh each campaign uh changing your feed deck essentially. And things being progressively. So you'll change the quest deck, you'll change which hexes are in the game. Um, if you do very well, you could see at the very bottom here, uh, you get special rewards. Version two. Um, and yeah, at the very end of the fourth one, everyone will roll their scores. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, so we'll just set this up. Uh, I'll use the. The magic button here, that is the best part of Tabletop Simulator, is setting it up. <laughs> yeah, that, that is much quicker yeah. than than uh, 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 in-person play. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and then we're going to remove one of these towers. Maybe I'll take this tower. Got this little mercenary token, I'll see you. Floor. This town right here, which uh, not get any souls because that doesn't happen. Uh, are you gonna play those titans? Why don't you pull them on out? Yeah, let me collect this one. Hmm, do we need to select them before doing the setup? I don't think so. All right. I guess I don't have the power to select. <laughs> can you pick anything up? Uh, yeah, I can I can pick stuff up. I just couldn't select the, uh, the button. Why? Um, okay. I'll play the pirates to show those. And this says, um, yeah, so uh, a regular... Okay, yeah, I want to be right there. There we go. Okay, so what do we got here? Always when you destroy a legion or horde, gain its bane. So that's kind of cool. And then... Uh, Lightning Bolt, roll one black die and apply skull to a legion, horde, or skeleton. Here since here, or an adjacent hack. One Lightning Bolt equals three skulls. I'm actually trying to play test that and see if it's good enough. Um, if you want to, you can play test it without ruling and just take two skulls. Uh, 
Uh, we think that should be enough. But if you would really want to punch some things, you could just give yourself three skulls. I'm not sure where he's going to win. Slows down the game a little bit to pick up another guy. So we kind of streamline that a little bit. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So this kind of lets you um, uh, get adjacent hexes or turn it into more, just a bunch of skulls. See, it's three. Basically, it's three. Titans of the First Age, the original inhabitants of Zul. Cool. Things they need. She's the uh, pirate queen right now. She uh, she loves her mercenaries. And I start with three mercenaries. So let me see which one I'm going to take. Ooh, I'll take them. So, uh, so one question is: You move my, or does my hero start on this Titans of the First Age hex, or does it start over with you? Well, we're playing this campaign, and we're actually oh. both going to start on Midnight Tower. Ah, okay, okay. So that's the. If you were in prison too. It must have been a really big prison cage. Uh, so. Let's, <laughs> uh, well, and uh, I wonder where the little miniature is from. Me. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta play the. Uh, Yeah, okay. So I uh I got a little uh pretty good about that. I spend a lot of time on this waste and so does he. Uh okay. So if we're reading the prison bit, uh set up set up the game pretty easy. Place one pure sea tower, place the midnight tower from the room. It's about the sea tower hex you left empty. You may place your hero. No, you must. No, may place your hero. Then resolve the hex of this. Okay. So I don't know if you want to place yourself. It's certainly more fun. Yeah, I mean, let's just. Uh, yeah, we can both. I mean, it'll be interesting just starting in the same spot. That's kind of different from a normal game. So uh, you can also see, by the way, we're here. A blessing has appeared. Uh, because the blessings come out whenever a, an extra legion or horde is into existence. Normally on the events, it's just producing. Okay. And so do we flip this blessing because... over or? No, we're going to find out what it is when we destroy the legion or horde. Oh, okay. Okay. So you don't find out about it until, until after you destroy him. In the future. Uh, you know, I'm trying very flexible if people want to see it. They can look at it. <laughs> okay. Gosh, it's the Mage Breaker. She's going to destroy that tower, isn't she? Oh, no. <laughs> um, righty. Well, so she's there. I'm sure it's probably there. Right. Let's see if I'm going to be joined by me. Maybe he's going to be blessing. That's pretty true. Remove one C tower. Empty if possible. Actually, you know, we ignore that, thankfully. Okay. Cool. And so. It's going to be a fight between two monsters. We have a blessing under them, and only one will survive. So. Okay. Really, guess what the sign is? Jump off. Do you want to play? Do you want to play the blue drum or do you want to play the mage breaker? Uh, I'll play the uh, mage breaker. So we are into archery, and we each have a have a little um pain. What is, what is your scene? Yeah. So if this unit was destroyed, place it at threat three on the capital instead, and start. These guys are the skeletal archers. They get more dice. Oh man! Uh, everyone's a threat four, so there's going to be oh boy, a lot of dice against you, Mage Breaker. I hope you bought armor under. It's, it's not going to go low right now. <laughs> Red and two yellow. Okay. Gotta re. Gotta roll one more here. 
let's see here, two skulls. And three skulls, so he takes two damage. Alright, so now we're down to one threat. Let's... Yeah, okay. No, well, maybe they'll kill each other. You won't get anything. That yeah, <laughs> that would... It'd, it'd be nice to leave one of them at one threat. <laughs> yeah, well, be, I want those victory points. You, you would like that being. Uh, all right, so he's got a two threat, two red dice. He's easy to remember. Yeah, so I got uh, black. Oh, 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 no. Okay, hold on. I am actually have an issue getting the dice to come out. Okay. It's actually uh uh he has one threat. It's one orange dice too, but wow. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's well uh <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. He's gonna crush the living daylights out of the blood. Goodbye, Mr. Worm. Ugh. Not what I thought was gonna happen. I yeah. thought he I thought the blood worm had it. So he's dead. Uh, this blessing uh is gone. We'll never see it again. Adios, Michancho. But he still has one underneath him, so that's kinda cool. It's like a great Target for you. Um, let's finish the uh, setup. Um, you'll notice that all the uh, druids are up. Yep. You have the reveal druid uh, phase in. in game. Now that's been replaced by the generate ether phase. So let's check each one of them in turn. So we'll start with the watcher over here. Okay. There are seven hexes with garrisons. Place one ether here. There's yeah. only one. Dweller, if there's six curses, no, we're nowhere near that. Mountain Heart, are there as many legions as players? Mm -hmm. I were short by one. And the faceless one. Yeah, so nobody's going to generate either because we're playing on easy. Yeah. I think the Imperial Spot requires us to do some system. Persons on hexes with garrisons. Uh, and those are going to go on to the capital, where they're going to go on to uh, new hexes because they're hitting the capital. I think you're the first player, Michael. Why don't you decide who this empire is going to expand to? Let's see. So I think I want to put him where I'm not going to have to deal with him on the first turn. So I guess we'll. It's two, right? Uh, yeah, for each player. Think yep. Look at all these cool hits and uh, cool quests. We got the other two navigators, and we're both already on a sea tower. That is really excellent. Oh, yeah. Cool, good looking items here. Oh, uh, okay, so refresh phase is over. I'll advance it to the yeah, events phase. Would you give us a dramatic reading, please? Uh, as, 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 as good as I can. Let me see. Where are the events deck? Oh, it's actually it should have popped up on yeah. your screen. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's 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 gigantic. So exiles from the south. Many refugees are coming across the frozen wastes in the north, now called the Screaming Sea. They offer you everything they have left for your shelter and protection. Every player may place one uh, action point uh, crystal on the trade action to gain one item from the market they can use, or two for ones they cannot. Use. That's the first part of it. So let's see what we got for market items. We got uh, one that discard this to draw one feet. Uh, discard this to place one of your units destroyed here on any one of your havens. That's kind of useless for me. And then uh, and always pay one crystal to reroll one die on any of your units outside of. OK, I don't think I'm going to take any of those for my for my action. Don't want that uh you don't want that extra feet uh oh oh you just get to draw a feet for that oh, okay yeah, yeah actually i do want that one, so <laughs> yeah thanks for Let's see what replaces it Ooh. this to gain one shield for each of your havens with a wall well you don't have havens that can get walls so that's um Take that, take the healing conclusion. That looks pretty. Cost me uh, a market action. Okay. 
There we Continue go. Continue the journal. All right. So I got a new feat. Uh, pay two elephants to exchange any of your dice before roll. Okay. And now we have to place uh, one horde at threat four in the Screaming Sea, not adjacent to it. The first one, who's it going to be? She's a friendly one. <laughs> and it's Her got. Yeah, unit gains one white die, so that's not too terrible. It's not too terrible. She gets a lot of white dice already, so. Mm. She goes into the Screaming Sea, not adjacent to a haven. I mean, you could actually put her pretty much anywhere in the Screaming Sea since. There's no havens. Yeah, so let's see where she's going to want to move. I guess we want to have her where we can deal with her, but not where she blocks us. So probably like right. Of so her own. And then let's see who the next one is in the fog grave. That's a bunch of the classics. Counter of omens. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. At least two skeletons on it. His bane is going to be when destroyed, destroy two units or threat here. Okay. And so this um, one is uh, Bog Grave, not adjacent. So, uh, hmm. I could put him over here and I could try and surround him and shoot him full of holes. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a bad idea. So, and he gets two skeletons, right? Burkett's okay. Hint phase is done. We can see that the uh, Mage Baker also healed himself up a little bit because uh, he was in play at the start of the um, phase. So very clever of you, Mage Breaker, to heal up to, to free. <laughs> uh, now we're going to go to the build phase, which currently for the Titans doesn't have much going on. You can pick one of your two feats, and that's it. We have nothing else. Yeah, always discard this gain the resources from the Oh, that's really good. Oh man, both these are really good. Uh I think I want I think I'm gonna need the when I devour it. Your heroes board hacks with no act. Gain the resources so I can. Yeah, I think this is more of a late game thing. The getting, getting. Okay. okay. I got my feet. I'm going to buy three blade ships or two blade ships to get a complete size of three. Two of my little raiders. Actually, I can't afford to buy my yours on yet. Oh no, I lost my ship. Where we go. Okay, yes. Okay. And uh, yeah, then I am done too. The uh, the pirates can build on any of their blade ships. Can also coexist with each other. Okay, and and do blade ships count as one of your five units? No, they do not. Because they're because they're also havens. Yeah, they're 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 not units. They're only havens, but they're mm. also blade ships. Okay. Uh, then, if we're done with build, which uh, which feat did you take, bro? I took the one that lets me devour an adjacent hex. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, that's a good way of picking yourself off at the beginning. I took the third eye navigator, which lets me double mine. Okay. So if we're done with builds. Uh, you uh, can become uh, the first player. Okay, so now uh, this is interesting. So, one more so, so since the Mage Breaker is already here, um, do I have to fight him before I do anything? Well, what's your threat? Well, my threat's uh, uh, I think it's zero. 
That's yeah. Cool. So if you're at the zero threat, but there should be a little threat tracker for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So only a hero. Uh, okay. So if I'm at zero threat, I'm only a hero. So I can move around like a hero. I don't actually have to fight. I got you. Okay. Um. Okay. So and I have no resources right now, right? They don't start with it. Um. No, you should have five of each. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, you know what? My re my resource trackers are not working. Yeah. Okay. You see them, at least. I see them, but uh, they're, the numbers are uh, uh, multiple numbers over the top. Oh, that's too bad. Actually, I see the same thing on, on, on yours as well. Mm. Must be a, it must be a bug in this... Uh, yeah, you can make them go up and not down. Yeah. And you see it, the fives there. I well, it's like all the numbers are overlaid with each other. Like it's not refreshing. <laughs> That's terrible. If you want to exit out and try and jump back into the server? Yeah. yeah, let me let me try doing that just sex. Okay, so I should have five of each. Right? Yeah, five of each right now. Okay, so Being five salt. Yeah, so I guess I could feast right and then uh that's gonna give you know i could bump up to and do you have to pay um is it a, a mixture of things or do you have to pay specifically two of each resource you must pay specifically two salts or two plunder or two food. okay and so maximum i could gain is if i spent all my resources i could gain uh six to start with right you take you to max yeah, I mean, I think I should do that and just kill this guy while he's while he's here. You know, fortune favors the bolds, father of thunder. <laughs> Get out there and kick some butt. Yeah, it's either that or let me see here. Um, okay, and then who who gained four uh, crystal? Nobody. That uh. It says on the uh, the campaign for the Rise of the Evil Gods. Ah, uh, okay. That, power, okay. that situation gives me any salt. Yeah, I guess like the crystals are salt. Yeah. Oh yeah, salt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then I, we just got used to calling them crystals and uh, elephants. Yeah, yeah, that's totally understandable. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in, in in ancient times before they had money, they they still had trade goods, and one of the most common trade goods in history was salt. You know, needed to learn where the word salary comes from. Even salt. I'm really excited to bring back the food since you can't eat it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess what I'll do is I will bump my thread up to X. And I, since I can't see, you'll have to modify the, the thing. The... Yeah, I'm picking on one of each. And then we'll go and fight this guy. So, um, we have to put an EP on your feast action. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, that works fine. All right. Um, yeah. You ready? Yeah. So, okay. So, I got, uh, so we got the archery round. I got one black die. Oh, man. I wish I had more than one black die. <laughs> okay. I get one black die, and it's not a star, right? Okay, and then you'll roll the mage breaker. I will roll that mage breaker with, with gusto. Oops. One black skull. Two. All right. Okay, one and one. So That's a little slappy fight. Okay. And now we're into this one. So I get a black, a red, two orange, and is that that's a gold star? That is the bronze. Okay. Right. So okay. Yeah. Yep. Right here. All right. So black, black and blue, black, red, orange. You know what? Some of these buttons aren't working for me. Uh, let me. Uh, so I got three skulls, but then I gotta get a. I'm gonna have to take dice. Hey, you can pull out the dice, I guess. I'll put, what do you got? You got. Black, red, what else do you have? Uh, two oranges and a bronze. Yep. 
Uh, five hey, skulls. Crushed the life out of you. Yeah, it, <laughs> I, I, it's not there because of the iron discipline. Okay. So, well, actually, come back to life at threat three. With its two activation tokens, that's so funny, and it's going to keep targeting that thing. So it's going to reach it. So we have to defend it, otherwise it's going to destroy the sea tower. <laughs> oh wow! But oh, that's really funny. So, so one thing is, it says I. Uh, I get its banes, but I guess this one isn't a great bane. Interesting. Yeah, we maybe we need a little timing issue on that. You can always discard a bane for right. So, so, so one one thing I'm wondering is, does it actually come back in this case? Because yeah, that's an interesting question. I don't know if we've uh, seen this exact interaction before. Because um, I destroy it and I gain its banes, which means it wouldn't. Have the bane to discard, right? Yeah, yeah. Which which thing goes off first? Um, I would say, as in, in general, if there's not a, a firm rule, if we don't have one, then you, as the player, get to decide the time. How do you want to decide the time? I mean, obviously, I'm going to take the bane because I think this guy is going to be a problem if he comes comes back and kills the tower. <laughs> so then we'll zero him out. You get one VP plus one VP per. And you also get this here blessing. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see what this is. We got found of time. Discard this. Any player may place one of the units on any uh, explored hex from the reserve or any graveyard. That'll be good for uh, for you, especially. Yeah, the nice thing about the blessings is you can use them for any player, so yep. they have a very high amount of player interaction. Uh, and when that guy dies, he also deletes the market. What a jerk. Who hey the axe of the giants? Yeah, that would have but you sure could. Yeah, that would have been nice uh uh before. Oh um so me. it's my turn now, right? Um there's a mercenary there, so I'm gonna see who, who it is on the top of the mercenary deck. It is the Imperial General. Ooh, that's a great one. Uh, there, there may in fact be an imperial juggernaut. Uh, yeah. um, how about I get us some resources? I'll just do the uh, the nether sea navigators, huh? Okay, yeah, you should be able to easily complete that. Hope for being there. You know, he. Yeah, no. Okay, so red, red, purple, blue, and I'll take a blue. They treat us badly. They've treated us wow. very badly. Oh man. <laughs> well at least you um, completed it. <laughs> okay. We don't get anything at all? Oh actually we don't have any Actually, completing the quest in this case was worse than <laughs> worse than failing it. We should have just, we should have just failed it. Oh, no, that's the worst outcome we could have gotten. Well, and we don't have any ether, so we can't reroll it. Mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, so let me see. What do I want to do next? So I'm a little bit weaker than I was, but uh, and I don't have any. I only have one resource of each type because. We, we failed at getting more. We get excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the Lich Queen. So we got she's at level four. Every oh man, that's gonna be great. Okay, um, and her bane is really good for me. Uh, I need to. I guess I need to figure out a way to get her. Um, the best so okay so the i guess the bad thing is is for me to explore i have to use primal lore which costs two actors right it is a little slower for them to explore yeah um i guess i guess one question is uh are you 
maybe it's more efficient for you to explore the hexes and then me just de me just devour them, right? Well, I still have to move and explore. So uh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess what I need to do is I need to get uh. I'll actually need to collect it. None of these other ones give me any resources, right? Okay. Um. So yeah. So it'll be three to do that, and I have you to. You have one of each resource right now. Yeah, and then if I if I move there, I'm not going to be able to get enough resources to to do anything. Okay. I think what I have to do is, if I'm going to fight this lady this time around, I need to discard this to uh, yeah to get any uh, to get some stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the maw of the titan to collect the. I guess I collect. I, I devour this hex next to me. Which I, I think it has to be explored, right? Uh, oh, 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 okay, you're right. Explored hex. Oh, okay. Wait, I thought it was unexplored. <laughs> okay, so I guess I got to... I, I, the only thing I can do then is either explore... Or, yeah. Okay, so I'll use my primal lore action to explore this unexplored hex, which I think it's locked. I may not be able to flip it. Yeah, they automatically lock until your hero goes on top of it, but I unlock it for you. Okay. All right. Awesome. So this is uh, Shadow Dawn. Gain uh, two crystals. If empty, place two skeletons here. If not, reinforce here. Place one skeleton and place one skeleton. So I gain two crystals. Um, I can't. I guess I can't. Uh, yeah, they get sent to you automatically. Oh, okay. Should I put that skeleton next to you or next to me? Um. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh. It's if not re oh, and then you also place two one skeleton. Yeah, so let's place it. Uh, I mean, we want to place the the extra skeleton with that with that one skeleton over there, right? Yeah. Ooh, flying flying skeletons. Okay. Okay, and then yeah, because there's uh, oh yeah, so I can now on my next action, I guess I can devour that. Exactly. Okay. All right. How am I doing? I'm 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 feeling a little silly for um for that. Um oops. <laughs> if I could get a hold of some plunder, I can buy that salvaged Imperial Juggernaut. Be a very happy I'll move and I'll explore. Imperial slave mates. Real pain in the butt because I can't. Alrighty, so I'll lock those there. We're gonna get two garrisons here. I'm gonna roll some dice. You how much uh, stuff we get? And did you already get a plunder? Yes, the game already gave you a plunder. So you have three salt, two plunder, one food. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. and it's your turn okay um so let me see i have four actions left so i'm gonna have just enough to be able to fight the uh so i gotta yeah i gotta discard this thing to devour this hex it actually goes to the bottom of your feet deck oh okay okay Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my, uh... Yeah, that's just a good one. And actually, I was supposed to put this thing. Yeah. Um, and then I'll, yeah, I'll obviously, de well, I guess, yeah, I probably want to devour the salt one, because you're going to want to do something with the one you explored. Um, 
Actually, you can't do much of it. Feel free to eat it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just wondering which one. So this is ice waste, and this is mountain. And mountain. Well, you could also uh, you could also devour this one on the way uh, to uh, crushing the green. Yeah, the, the problem is I'm worried about fighting the skeletons and not having enough. Because I'm, I'm going to be short on that. I'm just going to devour. I'll devour the uh, the salt one. Yeah. If you would leave the salt one for me, I would love that. Oh, I okay. Put my ships on salt. Oh, because cause you're always adjacent to this. Well, no, I just, my blade ships love to be on ice wastes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, then that then that's fine. I'll I'll eat your... Uh... Yeah, you eat you, that slave on you. You put those slaves right in your stomach. Oh, oh you get this. Yeah, I actually get oh, that. I can't steal it from you. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. Throw it on here. And then, uh, so I get two two plunder, uh, which I can't see how much I have, but. Okay. You've got three, four, and one. Okay, awesome. Okay, uh, that's the end of my turn. You can still take an action. That's oh, a, I can. That's oh, actually not yeah. An action. Okay. Um, so then I want to, so if I have three, four, and one, I can feast and get all the way back up to six. How many are you spending? Uh, I'm spending two salt and then uh, four plunder. Yeah, one, zero, and one. Uh, okay, so then it's my turn, huh? Well, hmm, I could potentially do some stuff here. You are currently a big fat haven, aren't you? So that makes it very difficult to do all of these things that I would like to do. Should have saved himself for some willing to fight there, huh? Let's see, I will, I will sail. Oh, that's interesting. I really want you to kill that. All right, well, I'm going to stop here. Hmm. Let's do some... Uh, let's do some... Sailing. Ship to here. I'm going to ship to here. It's your turn after I sail. Okay. So I'm going to move and here. I can, I can just, I only move one hex, right? Yeah. I don't have any. And then I'll move again. Here. And it's fighting time. Yep. So we got, uh, so I think I can get dice from your side of the dice. <laughs> you use that something. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It's, it's, uh, I think the one near me is, is okay. okay. So we're going to start off with, I get a black dice. She is in four, so she has got two white dice plus one white dice. Oh. Ooh. Lightning bolt. So what do I get with that? Oh, I get three skulls. Yeah, you can just hammer her if you want to. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Cause... Hammer. But she has All one right. shield, though. So I think it's one. Yeah, right. She has one shield. Okay. Well, that worked out well for me. Got, yeah, sure did. Uh, and she's got one yellow and four white dice. Five white dice. Okay, so let's see. So I have, uh, she's thoroughly trounced. I have uh, four skulls. Uh, she's got two shields, but you have four skulls. Yep, yep. And, and I got this lightning bolt. So let's see what I can do with the light. So is there any way I can prevent damage? Yeah. Okay, 
So I guess the best thing to do is I can ignore... I guess ignore all skulls on one die, so I can defend one, so I'd only take one. Uh, you have a shield here. On your oh, body. I have a shield. Uh, yeah, I take zero. Awesome. Okay. Take zero now. That's right. Man. She did. And then I get this thing, you which is the, uh, sweet. Yeah, you get that thing. For me. You get three victory points. All right. All right. Awesome. And that's the end of my turn, right? Or because, uh, or does my turn not end because I moved and it's just combat? Uh, combat ends your turn. Okay. Uh, I will command, and I'll enter combat with this. Um, so. Okay. I'll fire three ones. And two garrisons is a blue, two yellow, and I know they just get two of them. Right now. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just the archery. Okay. Yep. Nothing. All right, that's a big bunch of chump. Um, all right, I will uh, roll my three old dice. Ooh, that's not actually that great. <laughs> Two, three. Oh, that's weird. Two skulls. Well, that's terrible for me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that garrison's a uh, uh, really, a really powerful garrison there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How did I roll three blanks? Look at all those blanks I rolled on six dice. I rolled five blanks so far. All right, I'll roll one more yellow die and see how the comedy goes. All right. This is weird. All right. Well, at least you did. You got one, one garrison. One. Yeah. yeah I'll let you. Pretty, de- that's pretty bad. I'll let you delete the. Uh, yes. Victory point. Uh, your turn. Okay. So um, I actually can't see how many AP I've left. Uh, you have one AP left. Okay. That's uh, that's what I thought. Um, okay. So probably. I can't explore, which is, I, I, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, I wouldn't want to explore it. Um, probably some quest is. After, let's see which one. Which if you one? if you gain units, you gain threat. So it's you know we're going to fight something for you. Ah, uh, okay. The salts you could get the axe of the giants, but you only have one salt, so not so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, this one is pretty good. Um, so if I solve, I remove all activation tokens from one legion. Oh, well, there's no legions. Oh, man. Okay. Um. <laughs> ah. I mean, I guess maybe my best thing to do is just do trade and gain assault. I mean, we'll if I could get you a victory point and a threat, so it's probably a little... Oh, what is? Well, I'm I'm at six threat. I, or can I go above six? No, yeah, you're capped at six. Okay, yeah, so that's not that advantageous to you. <laughs> but but actually, so this is, uh, you know, if I solve this one, I, I, you have a good point. So if I solve this one, um, you could get a basic unit, which is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's let me do that. Then I'll, I'll quest. I think that that'll give me a victory point and give you something. Class. And then for this one, I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not a hex with enemy units, so I go. So I get a uh, four red and a blue, and this doesn't. Oh man! It yeah. For some reason, the dice. I'll, thing I'll is, yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, that's funny that those parts didn't load. No, they so it's like it's like it sometimes mode. works and sometimes doesn't. Yeah. All right, so I got four uh four skulls which should solve it for the victory point. Did and... you uh point? 
and I got this, and I got the shield, so I can discard any items from the market. Which I guess we're gonna lose all these items anyway. Um, are there any uh, that? Yeah, in which case maybe we don't discard them. Right? Yeah. We want yeah. Save our items. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you get a basic unit, and I get a victory. Yeah, okay, my havens are my invade ships, so I have one basic unit left. For my next action, I will sail, and I'll move these two. <clears throat> a lot of AP. Testing. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm all out of AP. Okay. Uh, yeah, so then I will sail. I'm going to have one AP left. Before I take my last section, I will read. Mm -hmm. Move over to this one, too. Okay. And so since you since you have your ships there, those count as havens for the for your income, right? With my last AP, maybe I just good idea. It's okay. No, this is a spend free plunder. I the um, I'm Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I do want to you know, take some stone, but now that I got two units. Oh, weird. This, uh, uh, uh I should... so, so just to let you know, this, uh, uh, unit, I see, uh, the mercenary around it. There's like all these buttons mm -hmm. for, like, uh, move, trade, quest, market. When you place the miniature, you brought them with them. Yeah, you got first buttons. You got button use. Yeah, and two. Weird. No, no, just just the one you chose for some reason. Let me see. Yeah, I chose. Okay, <laughs> just that well, guy. My my trade to a <laughs> my trade to a command. Since I'm feeling so confident and cocky now. Okay, and you can't bring your ship with, right? Or can you? Because it's a sea wave. No, no, they 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 don't really engage. Anymore. Okay. I'll roll two white dice and archery. Let's see what happens there. Oh, nice! At least, yeah. At and least this. Gene. And skeleton gets one red, right? Yeah, and I'm gonna flip my feet to. Get double my work, so I'll have two rounds. Okay, let's see how the skeleton does. Nothing. Very good, not very good, Mr. Skeleton. Watch me draw all blanks. <laughs> no, oh, no, I failed to draw all blanks for once. <laughs> uh, so he's in. That's two victory points for me. Nice. That's it for actions. You want to activate the counter of omens? Okay, so we remove the token. And then uh, he's just going to move towards the capital one base, right? Well, he will actually look for a haven first. Oh, okay, but if he can't find a haven, yeah, there's none. He'll look for an enemy unit. Yep, and the and the nearest enemy unit is this garrison. What's he? Got? He's got two white things. I'll roll for him. Yep. That's him. Gerb is mine now. It's a big plank. Yeah. So, what's he got now? He's got blue. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. He takes no damage and and nibbles this thing. Yeah. Which. Let's see. 
Right, and and so uh, one, yeah, okay, I was gonna, uh, yeah, curse. Yep. <clears throat> There's a nice quick nemesis phase. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, we're on to production now, and let's see. I don't think anything was produced by you right there. So I don't think you have any production yourself because you're not on a space with resources. Oh, okay, and 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 I so got... if if your hero is a haven, gain the resources on your hack. So in order to be a haven, I have to be zero threat. You have to have one or more threat. Okay, to be a haven. There are no resources on your hex. Yeah, it's, yeah. First, it's cursed. Second, it's a nice waste. So. Yep. So I produced um, the economy. The parrot economy is a little bit weaker. Here's uh, some slightly cheaper units. And I also produced um, home hex. So that's it for scoring. And uh, says you're going to score four victory points here. Alan. It says you're going to score four victory points. Okay, you've got this hex over here already. Huh? Okay, because you're a haven. Yeah. And you have a devoured hex, so give yourself four victory points. Okay. Hmm. Six victory points. So. Okay. In the Empire, this little tracker says they're going to get five, one, two, three hexes with garrisons, and then a bunch of money. Yep, so they got five. Yes, has got one, two curses, one horde, and one enemy faction. So they also get five. And uh, yeah, scoring is done. Then we would move on to the Arch Nemesis. I'm going to play with the, the Omens. Okay, so so do we still do omens for the first two parts of the campaign? You do omens for the in, entire uh, part of the campaign. It actually has its own special rules about them. Oh, ah, okay. So, uh, first omen. So we uh, now, if I recall this right, we we draw two omens and we choose one. No, you have to roll your heroes first, and then you need you know, four skulls, two shields, or two bolts. If you hit one of those targets, you can draw two. Otherwise, you just draw one. Okay. So let's see here. So I got to get. use the Arch Omens and Arch Nemesis for game one and game two. Okay. So we do not actually have them. Okay. So so we, we don't do the Omens. In this game or in game two? Okay. Okay. I'm going to read them. I'm going to read the rules. Huh? <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to the refresh phase of chapter two. I'm going to hit the audience. Mm -hmm. so, and then we'll check the dreams to see if anyone is going to make any so, uh, yes. the watcher looks for garrisons nope the deep dweller looks for curses nope the mountain heart looks for legions nope and the faceless one looks for chaos vp also nope so we're doing too well to get even <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, th this uh uh yeah we, we 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 did too well killing off the uh the guys in the first round. Well, the point is to get victory points, right? So that's uh, that's what it's all about. Um. Okay. So the uh, refresh phase is done. We move on to the events phase. Unholy omens. Men and sailors began to drill deep holes in the frozen sea to fish. Most of them. Deathly screams locked. It explored empty hacks. Um, boy, that's a lot of skeletons. Yeah. I, I have a personal love of putting them on sea towers. I'll just... Uh, Place three garrisons on any empty hex. Empty hex with no hex. Empty if possible. Um, yeah, we don't split these right. You want something to do on? Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta, yeah, that'd be a good place to put them. Yeah. 
a huge flock of birds. They rushed across the islands of Azul, echoing cries in the sky filled the survivors with the gun. Five on the top of his game. Plus one skull. So he just gets a skull every uh, clash. Right? I am going to wisely have him target you. <laughs> so does he target my... He just targets my hero, right? He just targets you. Basically, you put it on, on your hero card. Okay. Um, I'm doing that because I think you have a very good chance of having some... Um, it's also going to pick Normal targets, they can only get a target. If chaos or the entire conquerors there, perhaps it's flipped over the bunch of its abilities. Yeah. Okay. That's hard to get uh, And now we're going to place one horde at threat five on the yeah. Some side uh -oh. oh, yeah. And False Messiah, even with the most units. Undead, uh, uh, oh, plus two shields. Wow. Okay. You're a haven right now, aren't you? So I think you guys are just gonna fight. You have six threat? I do. I forgot that you're on a curse. I guess you couldn't have. Even... Couldn't, uh, couldn't um, have, couldn't have what? Used the Oh, uh, okay. Well, do we do we want to put him next to me then, instead of on my hex, or does he have to go there? We have a choice because if you read his card, so we have. Uh, oh yeah, place full haven with the most units. If there are no units on havens, place them on sea tower. Uh, okay. Um, it's probably. Yeah, because if uh, so, the curse is going to prevent me from using lightning bolts. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's just fight him because if we if we let him sit out there, he's just going to get bigger. Yeah, yeah. And what's his bane? He's got oh the undead organ. Yeah, that's annoying. But Ooh, that's uh, annoying. Well, let's see what you roll. Maybe you can get through it. Uh, we go into archery. You're on curse. Oh no, oh, no. Um, so do we fight immediately or do we do we finish the uh event? Uh, you fight immediately. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I get one black die to start with. It'll work for me. Here, hang on. Maybe you can test the black die yourself. Um, see, yeah. Big skulls. Three skulls. Hey, so if he doesn't roll any shields, <laughs> he can get the damage in. Oh man! Oh, look at that! What a what a punk! <laughs> he does two damage too. Okay. Um, did you remember to use your orphan demon? You should have a white one too, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Let me uh, let me roll that. Maybe I can. Uh... Yeah, I forgot about the the orphan demon skull or a uh, shield. So I only take one. You take five damage. Okay. So now we got uh, black, red, two orange, uh, bronze, and a white. Black, red. And An extra red because you're a haven right now, so. Oh, okay. So I get I. I must have missed that. He right. gets one. All right. So four. He get an extra red. He gets an extra red. Oh, he gets an extra red. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Ooh, that's brutal. That is brutal. We don't have any ether to reroll. Do you have any cool things you can do? No. No, no. You can. I think I take start this iron discipline to get a break. Where? Oh, I can discard this to what? Yeah, yeah. To get we, we we may we may streamline that. Okay, so I could discard this to gain three thread immediately. Is 
that the uh just one threat oh gain one threat so okay so i take uh i take five so this would put me at one and then he takes uh two takes yeah two oh okay. man does he kill you yeah he's gonna kill me if uh I miss. It, yeah. Points for the bandits. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna discard this iron discipline because it doesn't make that zero. But you're gonna lose them anyway. So. Oh, when I die, I lose them. Oh, so then, then I should, then I should just ditch them, ditch this one, and then I get an. I can uh, uh, fight one more round, right? Yep. Um. Oh man, that's that's really unfortunate. Okay, taking some damage. <laughs> okay, and then I guess do I want to fight? Do I want to discard this other one? So it's a white versus a. Now I'll just I'll take the uh, the white. Who's got red? Red, blue, blue. Oh, hey, what about that? Cool. What does the star do? Please. You can use that as any type of symbol. Okay, so I could block both of his damage. Yep, and he would block both of your damage. <sighs> okay. Well, then we just do it again. <laughs> yes, I was hoping. I was, like, I was like, that's a really good roll. All right. You got it again. Hey. Oh, but he kills me. You could also kill him. I could, yeah. Least. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. So, boom, boom. And I guess, boom, but he also destroys you. Yeah. And I guess the question is, do I get his bane then after I'm destroyed? <laughs> mm, that's a good point. I think I think not. I think if you're destroyed, you get zero banes. Okay. We should definitely clarify that. So they shouldn't be. Oh man, I really wanted his bane. Uh, oh, yeah, you lost all your tasty bane. That's too bad. <laughs> right. So then, uh, right, then to finish the. What? So do I go back to the Titans of the First Age thing when I die? No, not currently. Uh, we thought about that as a mechanic. We're not sure that it's necessary. I mean, okay. How would you feel about that? Do you think that's a good place to go? Um, I mean, I think it's a yeah. It's probably a good place to go. It's it's a uh, it's it's already a penalty for like giving up five victory points and your um. So you can think cool to put another bad thing happening. But there's some argument to be made for the theme, you know. Maybe it's really <laughs> Yeah. Pretty easy to, to be resurrected there. Yeah. It's natural to, to get resurrected there, put yourself back there. Okay. Yeah, that, I I guess that that's what yeah. it's it feels like to me what happens when you die. Um but maybe uh maybe that it's X can be destroyed too, is the Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, let's let's just leave it here then, because yeah, if this gets destroyed at some point, then you wouldn't have any place to go. So it's probably best to just say you get resurrected from wherever you died. Yeah, you're, I mean, the the spirit of the god still is thundering across the land that you need to eat to take on form. Right here, here yep. a nice version of sound. Um. All right, and then the end of the event is to explore a hex and yeah. see. Yep. Oh, do you have to explore a sea tower hex? I don't think I can explore any hex. Oh. I was going to ask you, do we want to explore this one right next to me? Because it cost me a lot to explore. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Well, I totally didn't listen to you. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> Pirates don't care. They're just <laughs> That's a good point. I should have explored it. And, uh, well, we have a lot of skeletons on that. Are there even very many left? Only two left, so we're very close to it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time killing any skeletons this round, or anything actually. Yeah, not great at killing skeletons. The funnest thing. Uh, the event phase is over, uh, but you did kill them before, so we're doing fine. Okay, let's see. This says. So always, 
and you devour a Oh, the, it's uh, the symbol on the hex when I devour. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Well, this other one's useless because, well, we don't have any uh, resources on our druids, so. <laughs> I also get to see what kind of uh, work is over there. Who do we got? Ooh, the Argent Company. She's really sexy. I mean, I'm with lots of salt, so I can hire her, too. If you destroyed in its bane. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'll take so I'll spend five to build my giant eel. Oh, I'll get another ship or two in the I guess I need at least one more. Oh. All right, I'm ready. Okay, so it's, I guess it's uh, uh, my turn first, right? Okay. So I can't see how many want resources I have. Okay, you have one, zero, and one. Okay, so not much. So at this point, you generally start to use your victory points to give yourself. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um. Um. Okay, I will wait. All my eggs in the basket here. If you want to eat that? I'm not too. Okay, if I devour. Okay. Then I will. Back over here. Hello, skeleton friends. And. Hello. So uh, I'm getting into archery. Okay. Uh, I have one archery. One adjacent. <laughs> I hope we can... Oh yeah, uh, no, it, it didn't go so well for the. Okay, I got some skeleton. Here. Yeah, so my Yortzal, my giant eel, has a silver knife. All right, so Ooh, okay. one damage, but it's uh, blocked, and then one skeleton comes back. Okay, so. See what we get one skull and one shield. <laughs> uh, he, he only rolled one skull. Right? Yeah, I, I rolled this other one. Try it again. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, that took, so, so you get three, three victory points. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Then I guess I'll immediately. Spend one, two, three salt as well as take the trade action to pick and generate. You gain this. Yeah, those aren't great for me. Okay, is it is it my turn? It is your turn. Yeah, so... Um, and I have to be on the hex to devour it, right? Yes. Yeah. 
So it would cost me. Okay, I should have plenty, plenty left to, to devour two breakfast. Assuming I don't die to. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to hope for some, some good rolls. Okay, so I'm gonna explore this uh, primal lore, the uh, garrison, house, the one with the three. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, Double button here. Here you are. Yeah, the flip key isn't working. Yeah. Wow, the game's all, all bugged out. Yeah, it's all bugged out for uh, for me, so I guess you have to flip it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's Troll Ward. Um, yeah, Troll Ward. So I gain two plunder. Um, and if it's uh, if empty, place two garrisons Perfect. here. If not, reinforce here. Place one activation. So that's a victory point. Okay. So and then it uh, one activation token on the legion or horde with the least tokens. So that is. Uh, let's do that to the counter. I think. Yeah. I can yeah. Okay. Okay, and then that's the end of my turn, I guess. Uh, yeah. It gave you it gave you the resources. Okay. You might need to. Time too, depending. Okay, I will. Are you going to eat this hex right here, Shadow? Yeah, that's my plan. Is I'm going to eat the hex that that garrison's on, and then also hopefully the Shadow Dawn. I will sail. Six million came in. One, two. Under the sea town. And I'll um, move after you. I'll explore. So, I don't know. I don't know. She's tavern. <laughs> Wow, that's that's um, like the yeah. I, this is like my favorite one of my favorite cards in the or hexes in the game. <laughs> I love him too. We, we we love Kyushi. He's one of our favorite heroes. Um, so I can do one of these quests. Which do I want to do? <clears throat> Are there any that you want to do or save for later? Um, no, none of these really help me. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the market items. I don't think most of these are. I mean, there's the mark one, the one that gives me extra stuff might be useful, but none of these like are extremely good for me. So you can just pick. You want it? I will take it. Reds. What's a red? Because I'm on. Oh, I'm not on race race. I'll have to. This. Blues, but they have a pretty good leadership. One white, and then I also get a blue for being on Shushi's pattern. And it's two and one, really. Oh. <laughs> so I think I failed it, but I can ignore uh, failure because yeah. she's such a boss. So we don't we don't discard the quest and we don't they don't gain two. So that's so you do get a chance at it yourself. It's your turn, too. Okay. So um, I need to feast, I think. So uh, feasting, um, I'm going to pay. So I don't know how much I have, but I think I only get one from resources, right? One, th one threat. Uh, so you have one salt and two. Yes, you might want to. You can spin victory points now if you yep. want. Yeah. Yeah. So so I have I have three plunder though, right? You have two plunder there. Okay. So I'll spend the two plunder two plunder okay. and five and five victory points. Bring me up to uh six. Okay. My turn. Okay. You're all feasted up and ready to rock, right? Yep. 
Yeah, I'm ready to hopefully not fail like I did last time. <laughs> um, then, yeah, how much uh, how much advantage do I think I could? I don't know. Well, come in. I don't know if we have these skeletons. Be mercenaries. Raiders, houses, but as they can ever be used to have. Um, very happy. Okay, so we got two skeletons on this one. Two skeletons, and I've got four adjacent ships. I've got one on each sea tower, and I've got two. Let's just see. So two dead skeletons, right? Okay, so I'm so I've got three things used. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay. Thinking. And this movement, actually, the the item that would really benefit me is I think that one that lets you move anywhere as a as a hero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that would really help uh, help uh, Ragnar. Okay, um, but I am going to move, so we'll move him into here for us. And yes, we're starting with archery, which is. Not going to be great for me with three white dice for them. I wish I had my extra. And they get some. Uh, they get some re rolls too. Yeah. Well, let's see how it goes. Got to take some risks. All right. A black die. One skull. Um. I think that's the worst roll on this die, right? Yeah. So I should probably re roll it. The worst roll on this die. You can definitely do better with three. <laughs> yeah. Three skulls, which okay. I'll get blocked. <laughs> I'll get blocked. <laughs> oh, right. Man, that's unfortunate. They only do one damage to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we get a uh, black, red. And I missed that vein that I had. Yeah. Uh, roll. This is why we need ethers for this roll. Yeah. Well, I got it's three. No, so I, I got yeah. them, but I take three, but that's okay. Those three that you did are three victory points, which you can turn into three. Yep. I get three victory points. And. I don't have anything that. Okay. And then I'm going to devour the hex. So um, I devour this and I get the. Uh, because I have this card, I gain the resources for the hex. Get the resources twice. I have four plunder. Okay. You have your natural. Yeah, my natural one gives me the resource and I get it I get it a second time. Okay, awesome. That's my end of my turn. Maybe a slight miscalculation. I didn't need to buttons, but it is funny just to get victory points. Well, I will roll the intercept the Empress's caravan one more time. Along huh. with that center of shadows. So. Oh, because you're on it, you're on ice waste, so you get the extra die. So you choose the Ooh, three, but you failed. <laughs> Dang, it's so bad. I, I should have one white die. No, it's over here. Oh no, four blanks. <laughs> yeah. 
man. Oh gosh. Okay. The Empire gets a really bad roll. It's two. <laughs> the Empire gets two points. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Okay. Um. So now you I have uh, three AP. Yeah. So I'm going to move. And I'm going to move here. And I'm going to devour this one. So that gives me um you say that you're yeah. and then you get and it, you get we get the first ether. You made an ether. Oh you yeah. Are gone. <laughs> so now we can actually uh <laughs> re-roll when we re -roll. um and then did uh did you add my salt to this, the two? Uh no I did not. Good point. You get oh. right. um beautiful. Well played. Uh, for my last actions, I will start with a um, with a lead, which I have to do before. So long you guys into this. So, my big my big snake can't go in there. Oh. Um, so we're doing some archery. I'm rolling three white dice against two white dice there. Hey, I kill it and I take a damage. That's pretty good. I'll then in Immediately use the healing potion to bring it back onto one of my evens. Ooh, but that's not very strong, is it? Hmm. Well, I guess I just have to win, right? <laughs> that's what it comes in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all out of actions. Okay. So I think I have one action left, right? Peace. So I'm going to feast, and if I remember correctly, I have I can get three points from my resources. Yes. Okay, so I take I lose one victory point. Maybe we forgot. Maybe the warlock would have tried to retarget the capital after you went down to zero, but this is more fun in the end. Yeah. This is a really flexible game, so we didn't have to. Yeah, well, I, I, I intended him to attack me. That's why I was sitting there. <laughs> if he if he popped out before and you lost to the Messiah, I suppose you would have he would have retargeted back to the capital. Yeah, that's So we're both done with our actions, right? Yes. This is phase. First guy to go is uh, the warlock. He's going to teleport all the way across the map right next to him. <laughs> He's also going to leave a garrison behind. Oh, it's always adjacent to any hack, so it just automatically go to me anyway. Wherever you are. Okay. Um, yeah, archery time. Yep, so I got uh, one black die for me. Hello. Oh, yes. So three skulls. Shields. Yeah, but he still takes one. That's that's really good. Or you can sign two of Jason Hicks. No, I'm I'm just worried about my rolls. <laughs> I don't need to I don't need to die again. I already dropped him down. Okay, so then he's four black red. Okay, hey, you crush him. Four damage, yeah. Oh, does he survive? I think he survives. Oh, he but... will actually have 
one point. And he yeah. does three to you. Yeah. Well, he also does another point to you because he's got the Kamakuri on him. Oh, yeah. Um, so I guess the question is, yeah, I mean, that's not a terrible roll. So if I use the reroll, I have to reroll all my dice, right? Or do I just reroll them? You reroll all these. Yeah. Okay. We'll just, I guess we'll take it. That brings me down to two, but that's okay. I think I, I think hey I God. can. It's definitely a win for me now. Yeah. And then so now I get uh, orange and a bra. I got to do better than I did last time. Two shields. So I guess we we go again. <laughs> yeah, you bounce them. <laughs> All right. I need to use the. No. I got. You need to use that ether. Yeah, <laughs> that ether I created. All right. So let's see. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, no! All right. Well, I failed as a god again. You are, or you are not godly today. Okay. No. So he gets five victory points for killing me again. <laughs> yep. At least we're splitting it up amongst the two of them. Yeah. Um. Wow. Okay, that's unfortunate. And then he retargets um, back to the capital. He has no more action points, so he's he's feeling very proud of himself. Yeah. He's very, he's very proud that you ruled for me. That that Let's plus one badly, plus one skull really really made him hard. It whittled you down. Uh, yeah, you had so many rules. Big, big, big heavy duty roll. All right, so the counter is going to activate twice, and let's see if he just crushes me because uh, be a thing that happens. So he see choose me. I think I should. Find Okay. Is that so he is at threat six. That's four white dice. Three. Oh, on uh, we're on a marsh. Yeah. You no, know, because I have two uh, sea towers occupied with my bleed ship, so that gives me full coverage. Sneak out of the middle sea points. Okay. You roll him. Uh, if I... Hey, it's a blankety clank. <laughs> okay. Then, so... and then in flash, I'm going to flip the Kraken's lens. Okay. So he's got uh, six. So he's got three purple, blue, and a. See, it's weird. It sometimes like works and sometimes doesn't. I don't. I don't understand why it's it's giving you problems. Yeah, it's strange. Look at that. Okay. He spits out a couple more skeletons. An empty hex here. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, and he, um, three skulls, but you block three. I block three, I block four, in fact, and I do wow. damage to him. You do three damage? Uh, one, no, no, yeah, three damage. I do, I do. Okay, and then we got... Actually, just... Yeah, okay. Some yeah. guns. Yeah. So now we're... Uh, he's at three, so purple, two blue... See if I enroll like I normally roll. Three skulls. Three skulls. Thank you. I please have another. All right. So you take. I've done. You take two and he takes two. Yep. Ooh, it's going to be really close. Yeah, he's Ooh. down to one. <laughs> he's going to die, unfortunately. I'm Arjun Company. I trust you. 
right, so he's got two blue. Let's see. Oh. Oh, only yeah, one skull. Roll again. <laughs> Two shields. <laughs> Ermagerd. <laughs> Two skulls. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Okay. So she's dead. Um and my Juggernaut has a nice ability. If he's destroyed, he's going to try and summon a blank for himself. He's dead. And then he's going to activate again. This is terrible. Both those points are going to go to the Empire. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's going to fight the, gar the, the level 3 garrison with only one. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. Oh, so the garrison has one, two, three, and he's got two blue dice. So... Okay, the garrison kills him. Then he kills two garrisons. Oh, that's just that's just terrible for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then uh, he dies. That's two victory points for. The Empire. Then he leaves two skeletons on his hex. Which fight the <laughs> so that fight that again. Would you excuse me for one moment? Somebody's a All right. Alright, so let's roll the garrison here. So the garrison's gonna get one white die. Let's see? And it's a shield. Alright. And now we roll. So we have a level one garrison, which is going to get a blue and a white versus two red. Okay. All right. So, uh, you has anything happened? Um, I am seeing what happens. So the garrison kills one uh, skeleton. Okay. And More now for the baddies. And then we roll the. Oops. There we go. And nothing happens there. And the last skeleton. So somehow the garrison survives. That garrison is. <laughs> Those guys are tough. They're they're imperial veterans. <laughs> okay, that's it for the nemesis phase. That did not go very well for us at all, did it? No, that really Ooh. that that turned the tide of this game to. Uh, uh, and so then we move on to production. I don't know what TTS is doing. It's flickering. Producing a bunch of stuff for me. And then you're going to get a zero production, I think, right? Yep. You are not a haven at all. You're just sort of intimidated. Uh, and then we're going to move on to uh, scoring. Hey, see. Yeah, so you don't know the sludge. So I've devoured three hexes, so I get six points, right? And since I'm not Haven, I don't get the bonus too. Right, yep. And I'm going to make eight because I have one, two, wait a sec. Is that incorrect? Two for every hex with any blue chips and no hex. Only six. Two. The Empire gets six because it's 21. You didn't even pay us up? I haven't done that. So he gets one, two, three, four, right? Plus the guys is four more. So eight total. Yep, I already gave it to him. Um, and that's the uh, end of chapter two. So, uh, yeah, how do you how do you like the way these guys play? It's very interesting. Um, I mean, 
I think that uh, I like how the Titans, you know, kind of have to devour stuff and they don't get all this free production where you're uh, really just focused on your hero. Uh, the interesting thing is you, you kind of have to, I, I almost feel like I need, I need to do a better job of protecting my hero and having some, uh, maybe taking a little bit less risks, even at, at the beginning to, and try to build up those, those banes and, and not lose. Cause if I had, I'm pretty sure if I had that bane that I lost, I would have easily defeated that guy where it turned into a, I agree. But yeah, it's yeah, really... we also didn't have any ether, and the rules weren't doing well for us and yeah. all the time. And... <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I like the you know I like the campaign uh, ideas. I like these. I think these two new uh, factions really, uh, I guess, give you a lot of new ways to play the game. And I like the fact that you know, we have these uh, dice mitigation. Um, I guess more more dice yeah, mitigation I, I, we're stuff. We're very proud of all those. Yeah, and I love I love all the mercenaries too. Just you know, I was playing with those guys, and they all have their own special superpowers, and it's like, ooh, it feels really unique. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I get. To... I guess the pirates really synergize with the mercenaries, so that's. Hmm. You don't have them. There's a bunch of other players. You know, the pirates don't always take all the mercenaries. It's very convenient for them. Cool. Cool. The well, pirates are kind of a greedy faction, so it, it may suit certain places. <laughs> so, so which uh, um, again? Do you want to repeat which day the campaign goes live? Uh, we're currently debating um, the end of April or the beginning of May. By the time people hear this, you will know day it is. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think the the response already, you know, with the uh, follows on GameFound has been pretty. Pretty high in in the first uh, week or so. So we're really thrilled by uh, you know we got a lot of our um, Twitter page and on Facebook group, and we had you know almost everyone in the game turn up. So it's incredibly wonderful to have a real community it's what i think people told me the internet is supposed to be is that people come to the internet and come to the yeah i think uh, <clears throat> i mean i think the response from the you know especially once you delivered the the first campaign was was really strong and uh, there's a lot of people uh, including myself looking forward to you know seeing you know uh all the unlocks and seeing all the stuff from the the next campaign, I think. Yeah, that's wonderful too. The the pre campaign with the unlocks, we're we're doing more crowd designs, and so far it's all good ideas. Too many good ideas for us to use. So uh, we actually kept some of the ideas from uh, the last couple of crowd sources we did on uh, Kickstarter, and um, so for everyone whose ideas, uh, you know, came in like second on some of those ones, a lot of them actually just made it in this game too. So. Ideas are interesting here. Right. <clears throat> well, thank you again, Cornelius, for you know uh, playing this through and showing off the uh, the new expansion. We got to see. I mean, I think most of the stuff that's coming. Uh, yeah, I think we got to see pretty much everything. We saw a bunch of beans. You got to get a bunch of them. I was playing with mercenaries. The only thing we didn't see is the end of the campaign where we would be. Uh, Mm. You can even remove feet from our feet deck. So as you go through, you uh, can uh, in your deck and you can sort of like switch uh, um, And so each campaign is even more you uh, play with me. Um, not too many people have uh, made it all the way through. And, you know, uh, Uprising is a very time intensive game. I'm curious to know the people's words. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, all the people in my group really enjoyed it. I, I, I especially enjoyed the, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I, I guess some games kind of, I feel like you, you want to roll a lot of dice, but you don't get to. I think in in Uprising, you're you know rolling huge amounts of dice and and really <clears throat> uh, going through these uh, uh, you know combat and and quests and stuff with 
you know, towards the end of the game, enormous amounts of dice, which is, I think is really fun. We even uh, have an add-on uh, of the hexagonal dice tray, and it's going to have a fake linear exterior and a uh, fake helmet. Soften the sound of the dice hitting the table. So for those of you who want a slightly less clattery experience, you can, uh, anyone that's already followed our campaign by now, uh, I'll get one, one for free. We love this dice tray and we want to have as many of them in people's households. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. And that's a good thing to mention is that, uh, you know, if you follow the, the game found campaign before launch, you will, uh, that'll be a free add on. And we're going to make sure that they're classy enough to be able to use them with any game at all. So uh, we hope that people treasure them as much as we are treasuring them. Awesome. Well, thanks again, uh, Cornelius, for for joining us today. And uh, I think everyone's going to be looking uh, forward to you know this campaign starting in a few weeks. A great time, with Michael, and, and we're super excited to run the campaign. And we're really excited to to make this for folks. Uh, it's just so fun to play Uprising. Like, what a dream to be able to, you know, make games that people like. Thanks for having me on your show. Thanks.